Good evening, I'm Barbara Brozier. Indiana's Attorney General won't face criminal charges after an investigation into sexual misconduct allegations. Four women publicly accused Curtis Hill of improperly groping them at a party in March. The state inspector general interviewed 56 witnesses about the incident, and a special prosecutor says there were some challenges. There's no timeline for me to prove. There's no ability to say this happened at this time, this person was here and that person was there. I, I, that, that was just impossible. Hill did not meet with investigators, but submitted a video statement. Now, the inspector general's report says multiple witnesses said Hill's conduct was, quote, inappropriate, creepy, and unwelcome. The four women who publicly accused him are now taking initial steps to bring a civil case against the attorney general. What has happened here today has told women that when we come forward, that when we share what happens to us, that, you know, we can be believed, but that doesn't really mean anything. Hill's attorney says in a statement, the investigation exonerates their client. Attorneys for the former Vigo County School Corporation superintendent filed a motion today asking the Marion County Court to dismiss charges of bribery. Danny Tanous is accused of accepting bribes from an energy company in exchange for a contract between that company and the district. The motion argues the Marion County Court has no jurisdiction over the case. Now let's take a look at your weather forecast tonight. Clear skies, low of 32 degrees, and tomorrow we have a chance of sunny skies, a high of 54 degrees, partly sunny Thursday, Thursday with a high of 52. Thanks so much for joining us. Have a wonderful evening.